How's it going? Welcome back for a new sandbox video. This one isn't necessarily an update video. The developers still have not shared much new content with us, but this one is for anybody who wishes to prepare themselves to create mods, add-ons, content, etc. for sandbox when the game finally releases. There seems to be some people out there who still believe that Unreal Engine experience and knowledge is still going to be valuable for developing sandbox plugins and content and whatnot. That is not necessarily true. Just because Sandbox is being developed on Unreal Engine doesn't mean we're going to use Unreal Engine to create content. I know that may seem a little bit confusing, but look at it this way. The developers have created their own little platform for loading content and scripts and plugins, etc. We're not making content for Unreal Engine, we're making content for Sandbox. Another thing to note is that Sandbox will have its own proprietary model editor slash mapping tool. Now of course Sandbox has support for loading BSP file format, so we could use Hammer Editor to create maps, but the downside to that is BSP is ancient technology. Uh, it's really gonna suck compared to the new modern tools that we're gonna have with Sandbox. Because Sandbox will have so many proprietary tools for creating content, the best way to prepare is to actually just practice general game development. If you're looking to create models, then I would recommend Blender 3D. With Blender, you can export to generic 3D formats such as FBX or OBJ, which you can literally just drag and drop it into the game and it's there. And you can also use Blender to start learning animations. Blender has quite confusing animating tools, but still powerful, and there's plenty of documentation online to start learning today. And if you're interested in learning C Sharp to create plugins, I always recommend Unity 3D. Unity is a game engine which uses the C Sharp language and it's very popular and very well documented so you're gonna have a really easy time getting into it. Unity of course, the development workflow is gonna be a lot different than Sandbox. But the main thing you're gonna take away from all of your time spent in Unity is the C Sharp experience. Not only just the C Sharp experience, but you're also gonna learn general game development practices which will be very transferable over to Sandbox. So yeah, even though we don't have access to Sandbox today, you can still prepare and start learning general game development, which will get you good and prepared for creating stuff in Sandbox when it finally releases. When Sandbox finally does release, I will be digging into it quite a bit, and I may start up a new tutorial series teaching people how to work with the game. And if you would be interested in that, then make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Uh, if you're not interested in that, but you like my videos, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Um, 